Well, when you went public, because you took the WWF public, right, and your whole media entertainment empire. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that is. I don't know. Whatever that is. I don't even know if you know what it is. I probably don't. <laughs> right. But I'm saying when you go public and everything, you don't get to the next day cash out all your stock. No, definitely not. Right. So, so at but what would, would be a good thing? you a billionaire. Right. Are you a billionaire? Day. I don't know. You are. It sounds good. Is it amazing to think that, you know, I remember even when I used to watch you when wrestling first started, you know, to take off again and had its resurgence because of you. I, would say, I never thought of you as... I thought you were the announcer. I didn't even right. know you were the owner of the, of the WWF. I just thought you were the announcer You weren't guy. always the owner, were you? No, definitely not. Yeah. No. And my dad, actually. Your dad owned it? Yeah, my dad owned 50%. And he had some other stockholders. Was your dad a millionaire? Mm, probably not. And then you took it over and... How old were you when you got it? Uh, late 30s, early 40s. And like yeah. how long did it take before... You really went on that rocket ship. Not long. To the I mean, you know, actually, you know, my dad, is, see, they had like little territories, you know, back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and my dad's territory was the Northeastern Territory. And he was very successful, actually. And my premise was that what my dad sort of started in a more entertainment genre, you know, would be successful all over the globe. So, and no one ever competed with anyone else. And, you know, you never crossed into the other ah. guy's territory type thing. So you had a brainstorm and you knew how to market this thing. That's why they call you a marketing genius. Hey, Howard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was looking through the notes. I guess it said that um, Vince has said that if his dad ever knew that he was going to take WWF National, he probably wouldn't have given it to him. Well, yeah, that was because my dad had a lot of friends. These other, you know, territory owners that owned these fiefdoms. You know, right. my dad had a lot of friends and acquaintances. So, and in so other forth. words, you crushed these people. And I competed with them. <laughs> right. you know, and I you mean, won. You know, I mean, so yeah. what? Big you deal. Them. You right. put them That's out what of you business, do in business. Right? Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> my, my dad was not too uh, thrilled with that at first, no. though. And and your dad, uh, your dad has since died, right? Yes. He's no longer alive. You got brothers and sisters. Uh, yes, I have a you brother do. in Where Texas. Are they? Texas. Uh, is, he, is he in the WWF? Is no, he, nothing no. to do with it. What nothing. does he do? He's in he the writes steel. Writes letters. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can I please borrow guy. some money, Vince? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he does all day. He's in the steel business somehow. Steel? Is he a wealthy? What is he stealing? <laughs> is he a... <laughs> I thought you were in the steel business. Is he a wealthy? Yeah, I'm in the steel business. Is he a wealthy <laughs> guy? I think he does all right. Right. Do you, are you, you in touch with him? him? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, you are. You're close with him. But he doesn't show you his bank account or right. No. So, so. When you're when you make this kind of money, what what is it you do with this money? I mean, do you do you buy homes? Are you a charitable guy? I mean, what do you do? I really, I, I think you do. You know, I mean, I can't speak for anyone else. He I think goes I out and starts me. the XFL. Oh, all right, yeah, there you go. People That's people one thing you do with it. Right. You know, but other than that, I mean, you get up like everybody else, and you know, and you go to work. I mean, I love what I do. I you know, so I never really. But work. do you have it's a like big mansion? Probably. Every guy I know. Uh, well, wait a second. Every guy I know who makes the kind of money you make, they all say the same thing. I'd keep working anyway. You actually love what you do. I love what I do. You know the people you who do. don't go yeah. to work when they have this kind of money? Hmm. The kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you love what you do, and yet I got to think on a day-to-day -day level, at a certain point in your life, it starts, you, I'm not saying you lose the eye of the tiger, but you start to kind of feel, hey, there's more I could do with my life. No, I, I guess that may come. You know, I mean, the aggravation factor, it, it may be there one day, but it's not there yet. I'm 55 and it's not quite there yet. So, I mean, I, I just love what I do in, in all aspects. If I work for you and I'm a wrestler, am I allowed to come to you and say, hey, uh, Vince, I want to raise? Absolutely. I am. Yep. Actually, to you, he doesn't go through somebody else? Uh, actually... The younger guys would go through somebody else, you know, but the guys that have been around for a while, you know, I mean, you it's still like, talk oh, you have because to. you I mean, because you dealt you with them. To. You sure. dealt with them in the beginning. Absolutely. You're getting older now. Right. You're considerably wealthy. Have you sat down with a lawyer and said, who is going to inherit your empire? What are you going to do? Oh, sure. You know who's going to take over the whole thing. Is Shane, your son, going to take over? Shane, Stephanie, Marissa. Equally. You gotta make those kids work together for the rest of their lives. Equal Absolutely. partners. <laughs> Equal. And how do you think that'll work? Doesn't there have to be one person in charge? Like, you always had the ultimate say. Right. And yeah. haven't you seen these families where the kids start fighting and yeah. sure. everything goes uh, definitely. to hell? I don't think it'll happen in my family, but, you know, I, you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm again. sure everyone's always said that, you know, but, you know, but they're both in the business, you know, and they both love the business, mm -hmm. and... and 
you know, I think that they'll they'll work it out. You think that they're capable? Because I know a lot of guys who own businesses. They try to pass them off to the kids, right. and secretly, somewhere deep in the heart, they go, "Geez, these kids don't have what they're it takes. Mess right. this they, up. They're going to mess it up." Actually, Shane and Stephanie are a hell of a lot brighter than I am. So I really, think, yeah. And absolutely. you feel that they can handle it. And in right. your will, you will leave everything to Shane, Stephanie, and of course your wife. Right. Is that how it will work? Sure. Oh, I would love to be in on that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> actually, before he said, I'm going to leave everything to Shane, Stephanie, and Marissa. And Marissa's actually his daughter-in-law. Does she get an right. equal share, even though she's not a blood relative? No runner? way. <laughs> I'm stepping in on that. Well, no way. Equally. No friggin' way. Who is this Marissa? This Johnny come lately. Yeah. I, <laughs> she's beautiful. Unfortunately, she's a little sick today. She is? Yes. She's sick because she's not getting the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's uh, sick. No, I don't Wait think so. Minute, oh, I think so. Triple H in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Congratulations on all your success. And I love Thanks, that you Howard. came here today. That was great uh, of you to do. Thank you, thank you very much. Very uh, nice to meet you. And uh, I would like to own a team in the XFL. And uh, keep wishing.